Welcome again to Case Law Comment reported by Win Tai Kung, 25 October 2021. Lobster versus wars and orders. It was a brand local division. Case 278 74. Indeterminate whether or not there has been an infringement of copyright by the reproduction of artistic work as contemplated in the Copyright Act, No. 63 and 1965, is had to determine whether there is a sufficient degree of similarity between the original work and the alleged infringement and whether there is some causal connection between the plaintiff and the defendant work. The first requirement will be met where the alleged infringer admit the copy the work in question or the test in respect. Of the second requirement is an objective one and will be met only if it is apparent that the alleged copy is so similar that it does in fact constitute a copy. The plaintiff took color photograph of three birds or forest canary, and Nato Robin and Malachis Schoenberg. The photograph was accepted for publication in book and appear in book when it were published. After publication of the book, the second defendant and the third defendant published a calendar containing illustration of South African bird. The illustration were reproduced of pastel drawing made by the first defendant. Then include picture of a kind of bird photographed by the plaintiff. The forest canary and the natural robin appear among a group of other birds. The plaintiff then institute action against a defendant claiming the sum of 5,000 being the estimate Damage super by planted through loss to trade occasion by the infringement, delivery of an all infringed copy and plated used for the making of such copy and the rendering of an account. This was established that the planted was the holder of the copyright in the three photograph and that after someone would serve in a matter. The first defendant admitted to the plaintiff that he has copied the three photographs. The main question for decision were whether the printing and publication of the picture constituted an infringement of the planted copyright in photograph in terms of section 4A of the full copyright act, no 63 and 965 of the act restricted by the copyright in an artistic work, which included photograph, is reproducing the work in any material form. The question whether there has been a reproduction was a question of fact and has to be taken into stages. There had to be a sufficient degree of similarity between the original work and the alleged infringement B some causal connection between the plaintiff and the defendant work. First, uh, the defendant admission had copy the three photographs established a causal connection, a subjective determination. The question man whether the first condition has been satisfied an objective determination. There is originality and all things to distinguish one adult sparrow from another and a question whether one feature of a sparrow is a reproduction of another picture has to depend on the attitude in which the bird is depicted, the composition of the picture and setting in which the bird appear. In the case of Malachit bird, there was a considerable degree of objective similarity between the two pictures. In this case, the bird were depicted standing on a substantial beauty identical protector, the number and arrangement of whole petal and lips were substantially identical. 
and the feet of the bird were in an identical position on the ground of the courtier behind which the three foot were hidden. There were differences. The background of each picture was of a different color, the stands of the bird slightly different. Such differences may be happy and explainable by the suggestion that the upper half of the first dependent picture were copied from a photograph in another publication, but a considerable degree of attractive similarity between the two pictures led to the conclusion that the defendant had used a substantial part of the planted photograph in making his picture. There has therefore been an infringement of planted copyright in that work. In the case of Forest Canary, the bird in bow picture depicted standing on a twin with a similar chap. All the details so that the planted photograph was the source of the first dependent picture. However, the dependent picture could not objectively be gathered and so similar that constitute a copy. The planted bird stood again, the background foliage and the first dependent again, a uniform grayish green background. The bird were also depicted differently and find the coloring itself were concerned and the tail were marked different in the case of this bird before, therefore, there has been no infringement. So this case very, uh, very, uh, very uh, interesting. It's concerned to the right of the reproduction. Uh, so whether the reproduction of work in any material form in the context, reproduction is the action of process and repeating the copy. In action for infringement of copyright, it is for the plaintiff to prove that a substantial part of this work has been reproduced and that such reproduction is causally connected with this work. See Francis Day Hunter Limited Brown. And here the question of substantial part uh, will be raised out here. And we can see that very important to define important content of the work. And the question whether there has been reproduction is a question of fact that must be taken in two stages, one objective and other subjective. In order to constitute reproduction within the medium of act, there must be a sufficient degree of objective similarity between original work and a less contingent, some causal connection between the plaintiff and the dependent work. In other words, the plaintiff work must be the form from which the alleged infringed work were derived in Coppinger and Scorn Jam copyright, paragraph 496, set up. It had to be determined whether the defendant has you a substantial part of the picture of planted work upon the preparation of which skill and labor has been employed. So here you mentioned again about the skill and labor in the copyright work. One is established that there has been such a use of planted work. It would be an infringement where or not the defendant has you a different medium and whether or not the infringing work has been derived directly from planted. With regard to the original artistic work, question whether the defendant has made such a use of planted work can be generally be answered merely by comparison to two work. It is to such cases that the well-known definition of copy in the West Francis is more really applicable. In this case, Baylor said, a copy it does, which comes so near to original as to give every person seeing its idea created by the original. So now we can see different cases. Spend a few minutes to read the case. Welcome again to the Institute of Intellectual Property. 
and now we see another case law. Another case law concerned to hand standard basis WS meet and shun refer definition of copy. A copy is that which comes so near to original and to suggest that original of mind of every person shape. So here once again, uh, we mentioned about the substantial part of the work and uh, we mentioned about the originality of the work. So even we, um, we set the criteria of inventive, you know, taken into account of the copyright, but uh, normally we um, still focus very much, very much to define what is an original, uh, original. It's very important, very important to define where the region. So we will see the, the, the result of the case and then we come back to intent of work. The payment for dependent John is zero John paying his money. Delivery of plaintiff of all imprint copy and plated use on tenant to be used for making print copy. And then we have uh, some payment here. So let's see the case. Uh, that's it okay that the uh, court will take into account and uh, we will see the hearing court so we see again uh, about the concept of substantial part of the work again in this act we that follow or infringing copy of any work in which copy rights subsist, or of any substantial part thereof, and all plated use or intended to be used for the reproduction of such infringing copy, should be deemed to be the property of the owner of the copyright, who accordingly may take proceeding or recovery of the possession thereof, or in respect of their conversion. Death. The court held that by English action of uh, conversion, the plaintiff can claim the cross amount of money which the wrongdoer has received for such copy and he has converted to his own use. And so he can claim the cross amount of the say without any deduction because the damages for conversion depend not on the cost of reproduction but on the value of the things which has been converted. So, the section 19 of the current copyright act that follow. The judge of the revision of this act, the owner of any copyright shall be entitled to all such right and remedy. In respect of the conversion or detention by any person, any infringement of copy. All right. So we have some case for this. And there is, in my view, nothing in this section that suggests that the legislature in enacting intended to alter the law is what I by Rabbi Bursa Donation. And on the an opportunity for afforded to the defendant to address a written argument to court on the subject, we have not thought fit to do so. I hold therefore that the plaintiff is entitled to recover and damages for conversion. The cross amount received by the defendant in respect of the sale of the picture of the Malachit Sunbird. A difficulty arises in the vision case from the fact that the calendar show by the defendant is a composite article containing not only an infringement of the planted photograph of the Malachit Sunbird, a number of other pictures, we do not constitute an infringement. In these circumstances, maybe well be that the defendant is unable to render an account relating to only to the Malachit but If that is so, then it will be a compliance with the orders which I shall make. If the defendant render an account to the cross proceed for the calendar, 
This will be for court at the day of debatement. I will call them in light of whatever evidence the plaintiff may place before it to apply the factors representing the proposed and attributable to the infringing matter in order to determine the damages for the conversion of that matter. I will argue that if the court should make an aware of the damages with what happened within the jurisdiction of magistrate court, I should allow the court the appropriate scale of that court. It seems to me, however, that in considering the scale of course, it should be allowed. It should be taken into account not only damages awarded in the infringement of the copyright, but also any damages which may be awarded for conversion. In the circumstances, it seems to me that I should reserve the question, of course, for decision and final end of this proceeding. All right. So that's the case. That is the case of lost to wars and orders. Besides that, um, we have plenty of case law in turn to the, uh, you know, the copyright infringement in many. So, in uh, Vietnamese, we said, uh, yeah. So as many as you see, many cases, many cases. So uh, we cannot in one day read all that case. So we need to uh, spend many days, many days. And uh, the thing is, uh, if you want to search for certain kind of problem, you just use you the control app and then you should for example talk about the substantial part of the work we have already 440 440 things i'm concerned to the substantial part of the work yeah substantial part of the work Many cases concerned in the matter. So it's really uh, on the case, case basic. We uh, need to assess the substantial part of the work. So. It has been spent one month already to research for the matter of what a, a substantial part of the work and still fighting to the end to define what is a substantial part of the work. And that's not really, really easy. So. If the one thing is very easy and then, you know, it's less uh, valuable and I think it's difficult, it's more valuable. That's usually like that and uh, we need to accept it. We need to accept it. So the concept of substantial park is a legislative history steeping in English law. It seems highly unlikely that the legislative intended to abolish in such a circuitous manner in reference to quantity. Yeah. Different quality is quantity. Whether in German law, as we discussed, many matters concern quantity of work too. The qualitative task will be decisive where a small quality has been taken, but it is not conceivable that one may take a large quantity and then justify the tariff on the basic 
and does have no substance to the quantity. So it's important to know that the word substantial qualified work. It does not qualify the work. It is therefore not a question whether the work has been copied, substantial did it, but whether substantial part had been taken in substance. The qualification in substance had been added because that which is copied need not be eject copy. So we can see the case at Laddie, Prescott, Victoria, more and law, copyright. Additionally, a literary term, reason to plot work, land trip, and always been fairly rare, probably because of risk of retaxing to great term. So the concept of substantial park had been developed. Uh, a long time ago. In Robin Crop and Herber and New English Library, a submission was accepted that in deciding where the copy is substantial, therefore, principal matter to be taken into account. So, first, where the first one? The volume of the material taken, bearing in mind that quality is more important than quantity, quite a more important than quantity. But whether the, the copyright, remember the copyright doesn't, doesn't focus on the quality of the work. And secondly, how much of such material is the subject matter of copyright and how much is not? Thirdly, where there has been an animus currently on the part of the dependent this was treated by Pace Wood versus in General Houston as equivalent to an intention on the part of a defendant attack for the purpose of saving himself labor. Fourthly, the extent to which the plaintiff and defendant book are um, kidding worked. Second test ignore the facts that one can only infringe copyright by taking that which is it's a chat matter of copyright. Third test is also unhelpful because one can only reach conclusion that it has been an animus for Randy after having established his contract. Four tests would be more proper question of case. So, you see here the case. You the four test steps. The first volume of material taken, bearing in mind. Uh, the second, how much the material is check matter copyright and how much not. Totally where it has been animals for running. Yeah. And lastly, the stand with plan to defend book competing works out. It's mandatory is it? The rough practical test that what is world copying is Prima Farsi were protecting quoted with approval. Rathbrook, K. Shepard, remain rough. And Prima Farsi usual. It's not based on the assumption that only substantive part of the copy, but that even something not important for the second work, that is, were copying. Is he also important for the copyright work term, substantive part? and no special exoteric meaning on copyright. So it is useful quite frequently by the legislature in different contexts. This involves a value judgment not capable of an, a theory definition. This cannot in the present context mean predominant, but mean rather something which is not metalizable in Consequences. But material to the copyright work, new cash flow model, and other versus resistor and others. So you can see here a close definition is not over dependent examination. So the similarity between the two work are justified by steep and all Allison in evidence and 
or dependent culture in Ireland on a number of bases. First, both works are at least in part the work of the same author. Let's go for lenient treatment and suggest by Cornish intellectual property based by Freeman and Free, who said for the say, suppose that an author create work and subsequently in a time when he does not own a copyright, he will produce it in a second work. Some concession in his favor seem called for in order to allow, in order to allow him to continue doing the kind of work about his provision. But across the spectrum of copyright activities, it is difficult to know how fair churches would call him. Any greater freedom that is permitted to order in respect of artistic works, a special compromise is now embodied in legislation. The artist may make substantial reproduction, even using the same mood, scared or similar plan, provided that subsequent work does not repeat or imitate the main design of the early work, where other time of work are concerned. And similar approach might well be adopted in relation between the two and the product to be considered rather than the relation between the first work and has been copied from it. So we have seen many, many theory uh, relate to this. And uh, so again, we have many many definition of his own and uh, I don't mean you just spend a life to remember all this case law but uh, it's also very very important uh, very important to see the subject matter another case of tutor company LTD in order the corner and others where the subject matter of two work are the same cousin to be exercised when assessing whether or not the one will constitute an infringement of the copyright of the work. First, there might be similarity and connection between the two work. A substantial part of the copyright work will not be shown to have been reproduced in other work where the alleged infringement show that this work originated in the source other than the copyright work. So, to defy a substantial work. Uh, it's very, very long way to go. Yeah, if you never give up and then uh, just continue, continue. <laughs> and I promise one day you will be a uh, member of this cases, yeah spend a whole life study copyright law. Money Web Limited, Media Limited. In providing infringement of copyright in literal work, it's necessary to prove both originally and that a substantial part of work has been copied. Right. A defendant based on 12 of the Copyright Act and must prove a leading in the work. So it's again, it went and again, and again. Can you see that substantial part of the world? And turn to the evidence. The evidence is important. Copyright. Substantial part of the world. Substantial part copy in blind reproduction. Right. So. So we just go through uh, some uh, definition and uh, fighting about substantial part of the world. So we hope you have one day. So thank you for your listening. We take a report from Entity of Intellectual Property in Petition, 25 October 2021. Thank you and see you again.